In the world of electronics, there is one element to rule them all. Power! This right here is the DJI Power 1000, and let me tell you why you might want to get it. We've had this for a couple of weeks now, and we've used it quite a bit, especially with, well, drones, and it charges fast. Now, we've tested this in the field for a new video that we have coming up, and it's really come in handy. Now, before we get started, there are two versions of this. This is the DJI Power 1000. There is also a DJI Power 500, which is a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to carry if you're on the go. The DJI Power 1000 is 1,024 watt hour. DJI 500 is 512 watt hour. Both of these are going to have a fast charge of 70 minutes, which you can do from this port right here by simply plugging in the traditional plug that you get on your desktop, for example. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the specs. On this right here, there's 1800 watts of continuous power that you can use, and then it has maximum output of 2200, and then a peak output of 4400. Also, this has amazingly 140 watt USB-C right here, dual USB-C, which means what? Which means that this can actually charge batteries really fast. It can charge an Air 3 battery in 30 minutes from 10% to 95%, which is more than likely what you're gonna be doing. Now, if you have it all the way down to zero, from zero to 100, it's gonna take 44 minutes. And that's because it's using 125 watts out of these uh, USB-C right here. No need to actually use this, which is the traditional 65 watt fast charger. This is ultra fast right here. Now, if you have a Mavic 3 battery, it can go from 10% to 95% in 32 minutes, or from zero to 100 in 58 minutes. And that's using 150 watt right here on the those USB-C. Now, if you still wanna use this 65 watt hour, that's fine, but it's gonna take you 42 to 49 minutes for the Air 3 and the Mavic 3 respectively from 10% all the way to 95%. Now, this also even supports solar charging. So here you have solar inputs that you can use, 400 watt each as an input, and it's actually fairly quiet. 23 to 28 decibels, and that's even in fast charging. So uh, we were quite impressed, although noise really doesn't matter all that much because we were using it outside, but still something good to have, even if you have it around the office. We'll show you in a little bit. We had some very uh, clever ways of using this thing, including one where we drew it in about half a day uh, using it. Well, you'll find out. All right, the ultimate test today is we're gonna plug my desk into this thing. So I'm gonna push AC, I'm gonna plug, this is the single plug that powers my entire desk. Oh, it worked. Uh, if you have a laptop like a MacBook Pro, for example, uh, I have a slightly beefier version of the MacBook Pro. Uh, I have a 100 watt brick. This actually uses the 140 watt from the USB-C right here, so 40% faster. It'll use about 12% of the total battery right here, so it means you can charge a MacBook Pro from zero to 100 in about eight to nine times total using this entire brick. So that tells you kind of the size. Uh, if you have one of these, you know how much it uses. Now this right here, is the power bank that we've used in the past. It's also pretty heavy, not nearly as heavy, a little bit smaller, but I can tell you this far outperforms this thing. But the battery inside this thing is made out of lithium ferrophosphate, which is slightly different than well, what we've seen before. Now, it comes out of weight, not only this one, but this one too. 13 kilos, which is around 28 pounds. That's for the 1,000. Uh, but if you wanna carry this, it actually comes with a handy backpack right here or, or shoulder bag, I guess you should call it. It's got a handle right here. It's got a nice little DJI logo. It's got a pocket in the back so you can put all of your cables in it. And uh, it has a room on the side to open up so that you can vent it. There is ventilation on each side right here. And then in the front right here, you can flip the flap open and then have access to all these ports as it's inside of the back. So overall, I think this is uh, nifty uh, to have it. Uh, you can keep it closed and kind of, you know, clean if you're not using it. Okay, this also comes with this cable right here, which allows you to, well, recharge uh, using your, your uh, cigarette lighter in your car if you have one of those. Uh, very handy, it plugs in right here into these SDC ports. Now, this will also show you if there's an input or an output right here. Also has regular USB uh, plugs if you want them. And then of course we have the 120 AC uh, plugs right here, two of them. And to activate them, just have to push it. There you go, now it's activated. You can plug in whatever you want in here. So that's really it. Let's go take a look at some of the uses that we've had over the last couple of weeks. The battery bank right now is at 73%. We just found this iPad that we need to charge. It's actually at 
35% battery. It's about 1.30 afternoon, 1.30 p.m. and uh, 1.45 actually. Let's find out how long it takes. All right, well, we're back from the flight. We actually just flew the Avada 2. You can see the full review right here, but I'm gonna put this on the charger. You notice we plugged in a couple more things. We have our Avada charger. We have a cell phone that's charging. We have the goggles that are charging, the controller and the controller, everything is charging. And now it's three o'clock and the iPad is at 95%, 95%, we saw at 35%. We still at 70% charge right here, which is insane. We started at 35% before we went for that little uh, flight. What is it at now? It's at 95%. Holy crap, this thing is a monster.